This video is about the Art Deco style and the poster I selected from the Wolfsonian Museum collection. But let's start explaining some facts before this movement started. We had the Art Nouveau, also known as New Art, that was the reaction against the over-decorated Victorian art. Art Nouveau was more simplified form than before, all nature inspired. The curator Lucas from the Wilsonian Museum will give two examples of this movement. Nature inspired. So this is a good example of that. This is the work of Bill Bradley. William Bradley was uh, a very prolific and popular American graphic designer and he's credited with popularizing Art Nouveau, which was already popular in Europe, in the United States. So he was one of the guys who sort of made this popular by doing everything from um, advertising work to the covers of some of the most popular magazines of that time period. So this is his design for the Thanksgiving issue of Popper's Bazaar. Uh, you have this beautiful example, and this is kind of almost in between the Victorian sensibility and this new art involved. Because as you can see, it's pretty busy, right? So that drawing from the old Victorian idea but it's all these beautiful floral patterns drawing on the Art Nouveau ideas. The top with Art Nouveau. Every building, inside and out, in the Art Nouveau style. World fairs were great resources back then for people to learn from other cultures, arts and architecture styles, later evolving into the same styles or new ones, disseminating all around the world. Instead, that nowadays we have technologies like the internet to spread any new styles or existing ones. It's sometimes related to what's called streamlining. Does anyone know what streamlining is? If something is streamlined, it's aerodynamic, which means what? It comes from airplanes, trains, automobiles, even ocean liners. After Art Nouveau, it comes Art Deco, popular in the 1920s through 1940s. It is inspired by the machine age, no longer inspired by nature, instead of what man makes. In other words, the age of consumption, mass culture, or mechanical. The source of inspiration in all the arts fields, such as architecture, graphic design, interior design and even fashion. Implementing elements in the designs such as buildings, jewelry, furniture, fashion, carriages, theaters, trains, ocean liners, besides ordinary things such as toasters, antique telephones, clocks, and even radios. The Art Deco distinguishing characteristics are simple, clean shapes, often with a streamlined look. The poster that I chose from the Wilsonian's Art Deco collection is the transportation advertisement of the fair of May 4 to the 13th in 1929 by the designer Kimitsky, which was created in that same year. Once again, we see a travel poster depicting speeding train moving diagonally over from lower left corner towards the circular sign in bright red with the word Budapest which is the capital and most famous city in Hungary. Text located at the bottom of the poster with black and serifs and capital type faces. Very classic of the movement. In the iconography of the poster, you can observe objects symbolizing the typical things of the era, such as the railroads, travel, transportation, and tourism, with simple three colors and hues of blacks, green and red, no need of more to convey the message. Looking at the bold colors and geometric forms, it is very influential of the Cubism movement. The poster was designed in paper with ink, a method called lithographic, the popular printing technique employed in the old mass media era. Perceiving the metallic smooth curves and polished surfaces, the train also representative from the Art Deco. It's just a simple children's book. Look at the train on this cover and then compare it 
with this train and tell me what the difference is. Okay, one is coal, the other one may be, may be electric, but maybe not, it, but... It's more futuristic. Futuristic, modern looking, right? So when we say modern, what do we mean by modern? And this is what, how, what it means. This train, if you're buying this, this has a lot of wind resistance, right? Because it's got flat surfaces. What happens with flat surfaces and if you're driving a car, a plane, a train? Wind resistance, it slows you down. You're gonna waste more coal or gas or, or electricity, whatever it is that takes it. So one of the things that happens in this period is they start saying, hey, we need to have things not looking like this, but instead looking like, there we go, like this train. What a difference, right, of a, of a decade. So now, this is what's called streamline. It's aerodynamic, therefore it's gonna move faster, with less energy waste. So this is what it means to be modern. You say, what are you selling me last year's goods? No, no, I want something modern. People start associating streamline and modern as one and the same. So if I'm selling you a product that I'm saying is a modern product, it damn well better be beautifully streamlined, right? Because if it isn't, I don't want to buy it. It looks old fashioned. Unless I'm a traditionalist and I would want it. Right? But if you're young and fit, it better be streamlined. So this is that idea here that something that developed out of one thing merges and morphs and becomes something else altogether. So we go from automobiles to rounded furniture for the bedroom. Again, it's not just about cars, trains, planes, etc. Now it's all about furniture, buildings, uh, decorative motifs for the outside of your buildings as well as the inside. Ocean liners. And the first skyscrapers in the Western Hemisphere, that's a building the next generation. Covers all in this very modern art kind of design. Even children's books with illustrations in the art deco style. But even women's clothing. Remember, this is also the period that's known as the era of the new woman. Sometimes we call them flappers, right? Ever hear of flappers? 1920s, they're doing the Charleston, and they're, they, this is what they're wearing. They bob their hair, they cut their hair short, they want the right to vote, they want to smoke, they want to have sex and not be all tight about things like their Victorian mothers were. So look at their dress and attire. Very different from the Victorian style. Uh, this is all about modernism as well. So it goes from everything from clothing to book design.